welcome here sign i want to say thank you for um coming in for the love reading for the month of august this reading is for the occurring gemini and libra um and we're going to be going in and we're going to be checking out what is transpiring as we look at uh, um the love reading so we see message of love is going to be coming in. We see um, communication. We see someone new is coming in for some of you. We see some sort of an unexpected surprise, but it's um, um, a real gentleman that is coming forward to some of you. So this is going to be good. Um, the Chow Chakra, speak the truth, um, is going to be important. There is going to be a transition in a relationship for you, air sign, um, in the month of August, um, 55. Um, so it's, it has to do with uh, um, speak in the truth. And uh, some of you might just be feeling alone. Um, some of you need to speak the truth um, because there is something that is affecting your world and um, you need to speak up about this, okay? So however this is transpiring. So we have uh, something, um, some, some of you are going to be finding out something that someone is only in a relationship with you only for money, okay? Um, there is a sense of loneliness that some of you are dealing with and because of this loneliness, you have, um, acquired a sort of a relationship where this person um is and choose just to be in the relationship because they are lonely so you gotta be aware of what is happening and transpiring so as we look we see the three of ones so um a lot of you are going to be dealing with the aries um i see the energy of the pisces um energy of the capricorns are here also um i see the energy of the leos that is coming up uh, that you guys are going to be dealing with um the energy of uh, um the cancers are here i see some secrets is going to be coming out about some cancers i see a capricorn is going to be finding out some secret about a cancer um, some of you could be finding out that a Cancer is in love with a Capricorn. So I see that is coming out. Now, the energy of uh, um, the Sun, um, number 19, is in a reverse. So some truths is going to be coming out. So I see the energy of uh, um, some sort of a truth is going to be coming out. Then we see um, some of you dealing with a fire sign person. This fire sign person is between the age of 18 and 45. And I see truths are coming out because we have the energy of the star um, that is here. I see a lot of you are going to be finding out that you are pregnant. So you could be um, just married or something. And we have 10, 5, and 3, 18. Um, so the, the star beside the moon there is some sort of uh, secrecy or something unknown is going to be coming out. Um, and uh, this is uh, um, going to be absolutely, absolutely um, wonderful. So what we see is that um, some of you are, are dealing with an Aries. And I see you're communicating clearly to this Aries. I see this Aries is coming towards you and bringing you some sort of a information. Um, whatever this information is, is that I see they're offering love. And as you are trying to figure out if this is real love or this is just something they're trying to um, bring out. So you are trying to figure out if it's a real love, what exactly is transpiring. Now, some sort of information is going to be coming out. Some of you could be dating someone for quite some time, and it is definitely 
um, this person is going to be um, either advising you or letting you on in on some sort of a secret, but um, it's going to be giving you some sort of a information um, that you had a hope for, as if the relationship is going to be elevated to another level, something like that. So be aware of that. Um, so then we're looking at uh, the Pisces. Now, I see an offer of love. Um, is going to be coming out from the Pisces and I see um, it's as if whatever this offer of love is um, I see that um, as some of you are going to be also receiving an offer of love from an Aries so whoever this young Aries is between the ages of 18 and 45 I see um, an offer of love is coming from this person and this person will make you happy. So um, go ahead. Do not be the spirit. Go ahead. Um, then we see the energy of the Capricorn. Some of you were in a relationship with a Capricorn. I see this Capricorn. I see some of you are in love with this Capricorn, but I see this Capricorn is... Um, they are not ready for this relationship. I think that they are going to be, they're not ready for this relationship. Whatever is happening in Trent's mind, um, this Capricorn is not yet ready for this relationship. Whatever the issue is and the situation is, this Capricorn is um, looking for something else or thinking about the past. So they're not fully um, in this relationship. So you men who are dealing with a Capricorn woman, um, um, you hope for this relationship to be very successful or that it will last for a lifetime. But I don't think this person is uh, um, is open for that, not yet, because they haven't um, yielded their past relationship and they're looking back at their past relationship. So be aware of that. Then we see some conflicts, conflicts because some sort of a secrets came out. Um, some secrets came out about a cancer, um, and a, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. So, so, so whatever is happening, there is uh, some conflicts because a whole lot of secret, um, that was happening and transpired came out. Um, I see some of you, um, if you're in a relationship with a Leo, you're going to be finding out something about a Leo um, that you are not aware of. Um, this Leo has been keeping a lot of secrets from some of you, and you're going to be realizing that. Um, some of you um, feel as if you're connected um, with a cancer. Some of you feel as if this cancer kept something from you, okay? Some of you feel as if this cancer is the love of your life and you're having that feeling as if of nostalgia with this person. Um, some of you feel alone because you're holding on, on the past and it's time to let go of the past because there is no more um, connection to the past. You got to realize that the past is gone and you got to move on. Okay. And um, some of you need to either um, find therapy or someone to speak with because the past is uh, now gone. So it's about healing the throat chakra by speaking and understanding. It's about some sort of a information secrets that is going to be coming out. So I see that some of you are going to be um, moving forward. Um, I see some of you... Um, an Aries could be coming towards you, an Aries man. Um, and if you do accept this relationship, it is going to be good. I see you need to really communicate and say exactly because this person is coming to you to offer you love because they want to be um, with you and to offer you um, this love that they, they are feeling for you. I see some of you are dealing with a Capricorn and um, this Capricorn is looking back. I see you're trying to offer this Capricorn some form of a love, but this Capricorn um, is not 
telling you what they want because uh, um, I see that some of you really um, want to be with this Capricorn and you feel as if this Capricorn is the love of your life but some some issues is happening around this Capricorn and they're not really open to you at this moment and uh, I see you're offering your love and you're coming and you're offering your love and you're trying to make this person happy um, but this person cannot be happy because they're dealing with some sort of an issue it could be issue with their parents um, this Capricorn I see you're definitely opening up uh, to this person but this person is closed down at this moment they're not ready for what you're opening up and showing up okay um conflicts with a cancer and i see um some of you are going to be really pissed off with a cancer whatever is transpiring and happening um some of you are really going to be really pissed off with a cancer whatever this cancer have done I see you're going to be so upset with this cancer for something that you have done. Some of you either cancer, some of you is your partner. Now, if you notice in the middle, it's double. An offer of love is coming in, and some of you are having some of you are going to be finding out some issues, some secrets about your partner is going to be coming out. Um and as we um look further, we see um conflicts is going to be coming up between you and your partner however this is happening and transpiring um i see secrets is going to be coming out um something from the past that has transpired that you were not aware of and i see a whole lot of secrets where you're going to be finding out that a um a pisces and a cancer have a whole lot of secrets that they were keeping um, that you were not aware of. Um, I see again, I, I see some of you are regretting um, because some of you thought, you know, this person could have uh, advised me or let me know what was going on. So it's as if some of you got yourself thrown in the ring and you're thinking, you know, what a bastard because, um, you know, they know that they were seeing this person. Why didn't they advise me or... They know that this person was in the picture. Why didn't they advise me? So this is a situation where some of you are not going to be totally happy dealing with um, um, some issues because you're going to be finding out that someone was not upfront with you. And it, this can be the energy of a cancer that wasn't upfront with you. And you're going to be a little bit um, like thrown off guard some secrets is going to be coming out about an Aries whether this young Aries is I see a whole lot of secrets so whoever is in your relationship with a young Aries a whole lot of secrets I see truths about a young Aries is going to be coming out um and uh, I see that uh, some of you are going to be deciding um to leave this person behind um because you weren't aware of uh, um, what they have done and you're going to be deciding um, to really really leave this person behind because you're thinking this is not who I want to be and where I want to be um, so you're going to be um, definitely just either just leaving this person behind and not and trying not to um, let whatever is affecting them in their lives affect you in your lives is it the right thing to do Sometimes um, people need to um, clear their own karmas, okay? I see communication is going to be coming in where people are letting you know how they feel about you. So some of you have been in a relationship with a fire sign person and I see this fire sign person really coming in and, you know, letting you really, really know how they feel about you and how they have been really working on themselves um in order to create a better a better world um financially it's the bill and they are going to be um offering you um it's as if they're going to be coming in and said hey i've been so um working on myself and now I wonder if you want to go on the journey with me forward. 
and this is going to be very good and very positive. Um, I see some information came um, is going to be coming out um, about uh, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, and I see you're going to be finding out that these people have been um, really keeping some sort of a information from you that you think that would be um, the right thing to let you know what exactly is happening. And it's as if, uh, you know, this person was keeping some sort of a secrecy and uh, the secrecy is going to be coming out now because I see it's all about uh, um, an offer of love is going to be coming in and it's all about secrecy about your partner is coming out. So a lot is going to be happening and transpiring. So let's go in and check out and see. So uh, we have uh, um, Venus and Mercury. Venus and Mercury. And what that is showing up, um, Venus and Mercury. Um, this is the energy where we are having um, some sort of a happy happy chance of uh, meeting, happy chance of moving forward, uh, and this is good. So I see um, some of you are dealing with, uh, um, some of you um, could be um, reconnecting um, here, some sort of a happiness, someone is coming in um, from the past to let you know um, you could be dealing with a, a Virgo for some of you. It could be a Virgo that is coming in. Some of you, a Virgo could be offering you love. Um, some of you, a love is going to be coming in um, from an Aries. I see some of you are going to be, <laughs> are not aware that this person is already married and truth is going to come out. Okay, so... Um, there is a lot that is happening and transpiring, um, but truth is going to be coming out about some issue, some situation. Pluto, 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 Pluto and the moon. Pluto and the moon. A lot of you are going to be feeling sad about something, something. Pluto has to do with um, some unexpected, something sculptural, um, something unexpectedly is going to be happening. So some information is going to be coming out. Some of you are going to be um, alarmed that you're um, feeling something for another, um, um, uh, another person from the same sex. Um, so this is something that Pluto is going to be bringing out that you're definitely feeling something from the, the, the other sex. So it's the same sex, which is unexpected. Some of you are going to be alarmed by this. Um, some of you, um, a Scorpio is going to be coming in, offering some of you love. Um, some of you are going to be finding out that a Cancer is in love. If you're in love with a Cancer, they um, have some sort of a, um, feelings for a Capricorn and it's not yet over, okay? Now we see Jupiter and Mars, and this is beautiful. Um, Jupiter and Mars are a really wonderful um, relationship. Your relationship is in a positive form. Um, Jupiter and Mars, um, what I see is that... Um, some of you um, are going to be feeling happy in a relationship uh, with a Leo. Um, some of you are going to be um, finding out uh, that a Cancer is still in love with a Capricorn. Well, for the rest of it, um, a whole lot of you are going to be feeling good being connected uh, um, to a Sagittarius uh, Aries or a Leo and that relationship feels good. Some secrets is coming out about an, a Leo and an Aries. So some, unex some unexpected secrets you're going to be finding out. If you're in a relationship with a Leo and an Aries, some unexpected secrets. Some of you are going to be having some form of a luck with a Capricorn. 
okay because um um it's, 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 it's some unexpected event that is giving you some sort of a luck um um some of you could be in love with this person and all of a sudden something happened and and, and now you can say it to the person okay uh, or the person is going to say it to you then we see truths are going to be coming out about Pisces and a Taurus. Whatever is happening in transpiring, um, some information, some of you are going to be finding out some connection um, with a, a Pisces because it's Neptune, Neptune and Venus. Neptune and Venus, um, some of you um, is going to be finding out something about the Pisces, okay? And um, some of you were dreaming to be in a relationship with this person, um, an offer you might be offering or trying to communicate with this person. Um, so be aware of that. Um, then we have the energy of Uranus and Venus. So there is a lot of love. There is a lot of love that is showing up, okay? Um um, some of you are in relationships. Some of you Aquarian and uh, and um, Librans or uh, having some instability in relationships. So if you are together, if you Aquarians, if an Aquarian and a Libra is in a relationship, there is some form of instability. Okay, and whatever is transpiring is as if you're going to be facing up and realizing this instability some of you are going to be um ending a relationship with a leo and a divorce in a leo so i see divorce is coming up for um some of you are going to be divorcing a leo or a cancer okay so divorce could be coming up for a leo and a cancer mm. Explosive. So, explosive is because secrecy is coming out. There was some form of a secrecy. I see it explosive in a relationship where and um, where it's going to affect the Aquarians and the Aries, the Aquarians and the Aries. And that was what I was saying, that some sort of a information is going to be coming out about the Aries that some sort of a secrecy about the areas and you can see that coming out so it is um a trans a transition that is going to be transforming um that is going to be affecting you air sign people there is no question about it there is a whole lot of uh, tr transition it is definitely a month of changes in your relationship there is no question about it um um, marriage, divorces, secrets are coming out. Uh, um, um, people are moving forward. I see people feel um, remorse for something um, that they have done. Um, and Jupiter and Mars, that is a whole lot of fun, happiness, feeling good about your relationship. But some of you are definitely going to be finding out uh, um, some sort of an explosiveness, some sort of a secrecy that a cancer um, hold. And this secrecy is that um, this a cancer um, have done something to either a Capricorn or was in love with a Capricorn. And I see that some of you is really going to be coming out. Whoever is in a relationship with um, um Aries, because you can see the energy of Aries, there's going to be some sort of an explosive. Um, yeah, and there is going to be separation or breakup. So I see this, um, you Aquarians are going to be feeling this. Um, Aquarians and Libra is going to be feeling this most of all um, in this period. You Geminis are, um, I think you have gone through um, your situation so we see dreams instability and explosiveness so dreams is that a lot of you um, are going to be dreaming um, 
and manifesting your own relationship people who you want to be in a relationship with i see you're dreaming and manifesting this i see some of you are going to be working on your relationship some of you do not want to lose someone because you're having it's as if you cheated on someone and now you are like i really don't want to lose this person i wish i didn't do what i have done and that that is definitely going to be coming out are going to be affecting you so you got to be aware of this because there is just some um wrong some horrible and wrong situation that has transpired and you feel so bad and i see some of you you're going to be speaking the truth you're going to be speaking the truth about what has happened what has transpired you're going to be um um letting the other person know of um the effect of what has transpired um, to affect some sort of uh, issues and situation in your relationship. So this is, oopsie daisy, is going to be a very good month where people are healing um, their relationship by really communicating and really letting them part, their partners know exactly how um, the challenges and things is, uh, um, have affected them in their lives. So I see speak the truth. Um, um, there is a lot of uh, um, by speaking and letting the, your um, partner know how you're feeling, that is going to be helping um, a relationship to grow and to move from one existence to another. Um, and uh, the energy um, with, um, you know, a full three, um, a lot of people are just going to be jolly, happy um, in where they are, happy uh, in feeling really some sort of a happiness in their marriage. Um, their people are going to be um, really accepting that they are married and uh, they're dealing with it. And it is feeling as if, yes, this is where I need to be. A lot of dreamers are coming up. A lot of people are dreaming for a better relationship or an healing to their relationship or manifesting new love to come in their lives. So a lot of that is going to be happening where we have the energy of Neptune coming in with Venus. That is the planet of love and it's dreaming about new love coming in your world. And this is going to be good. Then we have Uranus and Uranus is like some sort of a instability that is going to be coming up with some of you and your marriage because you have found out some secrecy um, about your husband or wife in your marriage and there's a sort of an instability where it is as if you're not trusting anymore and this could be something that they were not they didn't advise you of so um, that could be coming out and affecting and creating some sort of instability. You feel as if you're you're alone in your marriage, so be aware of that. I got to go. Namaste. Please like and share these videos. Become a member of the channel and you will receive your extended love readings. So become a member of the channel and you will receive the extended love readings. If you want to see the extended of these readings, they're already up. Um, just become a member of the channel, but you have to do like the $4.99 to become a member of the channel. Namaste. Please like and share, share, share these videos.